to quickly introduce Divakaran. He has 15 years of experience in enterprise sales and customer services in India and the Middle East regions with a focus on customer experience, digital payments, telecom, distribution and analytics. Prior to Freshworks, he has worked with leading brands including Reliance, Nokri and Paytm where he has worked very closely with tech, HR and finance leaders in their technology and digital transformation journeys. So please welcome on stage Mr. Devakaran Tamilcharvan from Freshworks. Good afternoon uh, everyone. I hope all of you are doing well and uh, having a great time today. Uh, thanks for the introduction uh, and uh, quite excited to be here uh, delivering the keynote at the CA1 Leader Conference. And for those of you who, are, who haven't heard about Freshworks, Freshworks is a SaaS company that provides solutions specializing in different areas of customer and employee experience, right? We have about 50,000 customers uh, across the globe from different industries. We are recognized by uh, uh, Gartner and Forrester as the leading solutions provider in all of these areas. And we are also the first Indian SaaS company to be listed in NASDAQ in the US. Some of the household names such as you know, Paytm, uh, PhonePay, Linscard, Zomato, et cetera, use Freshworks on a daily basis. And that's a quick introduction on Freshworks. Without further ado, I'll get into the topic for today, which is, is it just about you know, keeping lights on and ensuring business continuity, or is it going above and beyond and delivering employee delight? Right. We'll unfold from here, and we'll look at uh, the top challenges faced by IT leaders uh, today, and what are the must-haves for you to address these uh, challenges, and how uh, Fresh Service, which is Freshworks's IT service management platform, helps in addressing those challenges and implementing the must-haves, and a quick glimpse on how one of our customers, Shopify, leverages Fresh Service. Now. Looking at the top challenges faced by IT today, this is in conjunction with our own experience uh, in interacting with our customers and prospects and also a Harvard Business Review report. The topmost challenge uh, you know, here is, I mean, the role played by IT has transformed over the years, right? From, from just uh, helping turn the wheels of uh, business to ensuring employee delight. And the bare minimum, the topmost challenge is to ensure uh, uninterrupted IT for running your business operation smoothly. Right. And for this, modernization of your ITSM ecosystem becomes very important, just for this reason that legacy systems are siloed, slow, difficult to configure and maintain. And then there is going above and beyond and ensuring uh, employee delight. And employee delight is you know, not really a luxury anymore, uh, right? because I'll, I'll take my own example. Uh, we use uh, you know, our own tool in our company. My, the expectation from the expectation from me as a sales professional from my company is to have the right tools and technologies to do my job fast and also on the go, right? Because my customers want speed, right? And this again falls on the heads of IT, not just ITSM alone. And then the next challenge here is, thanks to COVID, maintaining a hybrid workforce, right? Most organizations have resorted uh, to a hybrid working model where part of the workforce is working from home and part of it is working from office. But the challenge that IT faces here is to ensure the same experience across both of these populations in terms of you know, quality of service, resolution, speed, etc. And to solve all of these challenges, choosing the right ITSM tool, or rather the right-sized ITSM tool becomes uh, you know, very important. And that in itself is a challenge. There are a lot of tools out there in the market. right? You, you have to ensure that you know, you're not overspending. A lot of times, what we hear from our prospects and customers is that, especially those who are trying to move from legacy systems, is that they have overspent on systems. They are not using all the features. It is underimplemented, so the ROA is not great, right? And that's exactly what we're talking about uh, over here. And, and when, you, when you want to choose a new tool, it's also important for you to assess where you are today. You know, assess, are you even ready for that and, and the maturity? Otherwise, the ROA gets impacted, right? And uh, let's look at some of the must-haves for you to address these challenges. The first and foremost is to leverage artificial intelligence uh, to automate a lot of uh, things, right? Now, you're, I mean, we just discussed about employees wanting speed. The same way your technicians or agents want to work only on you know, complex issues, not waste time on regular stuff, right? So that is why having a, you know, a self-service portal you know, powered by artificial intelligence you know, becomes very important. And the next is, and this I've been hearing a lot uh, from some of the CAOs over here you know, that I've met uh, you know, uh, some time back, that 
the operations management and service management are operating in silos. They're not integrated, right? The cost of not integrating this will be, you know, uh, disruptions, right? Now, because if these are not integrated, when, once an outage, uh, you know, comes up, and if an incident is not created, by the time you react to it, the disruption is already done. So it is very important to integrate service and operations uh, management here, and also to extend the service management capabilities to other departments as well. So it's not about employees, you know, wanting uh, to raise a request related to IT alone. It, it could be about anything and everything. For example, I'll take my own example again. If I want to be raising an invoice for one, one of my customers, I don't want to be you know, writing different emails, etc. I just want to go to one place, raise a request, and get it done very quickly. So extending service management capabilities to other departments also becomes important. In our, you know, otherwise, it is called you know, enterprise service management, right? And uh, so all of this, uh, while all of this must-haves are important, it should also be easy to use, both for the agents and employees. Now, in the process of ensuring this, you know, we sh you shouldn't be introducing complexities into the environment. It should be extremely easy to use and consume for the employees, as well as easy to implement and configure for your technicians as well. Right? And let's look at how our IT service management and enterprise service management platform helps address the challenges that we discussed uh, right now, and also implement the must-haves. Right? First and foremost, Fresh service leverages artificial intelligence and uh, helps you automate a lot of things through self-service. You don't want your employees to be waiting. We just discussed about employees wanting speed. They just want to be able to come to a portal, interact with, say, a chatbot or a virtual agent, get support 24-7, get queries resolved, and keep you know, moving on, at least the simple ones. right? And the next here is, uh, which, which takes up the chunk of the bandwidth for IT is fulfilling service requests, right? Fresh service helps in automating your service desk using our workflow automations. So, you know, it offers a full-fledged uh, service catalog uh, and which has multiple workflows running in the background. And without manual intervention, uh, you know, your service request will get fulfilled. In our, in our world, we call it, you know, zero-cost tickets, right? And once you ensure all of that, uh, Fresh service, you know, gives more time to your agents to actually spend time on actual complex issues that requires their attention. And even in that, it, it makes it further easy for them by you know, intelligently classifying and prioritizing tickets and auto-allocating to the you know, right teams. And it also integrates the operations management uh, with service management, which most organizations today are running uh, separately. Right? The advantage of, you know, I mean, what Press Service does here is when an incident you know, comes up, it triggers a ton of alerts, right? By the time you figure out there is a disruption, you have already lost time, and your agents end up working on multiple incidents, right? And which hits the MTTR uh, as well for you. Now, what Fresh Service does here is it intelligently groups alerts using our uh, artificial intelligence engine called Freddy, and then it within that it it uh, it links it to the root incident and also helps identify critical alerts and allocated to the right team so that whenever an outage happens, you know, immediately it is picked up and you know, the resolution is in progress. Uh, now let's take a quick look at how uh, one of our customers, Shopify. Shopify, you must, be, you must all be aware about Shopify. It is an e-commerce company which it helps businesses go online. So they were using a, a, a solution, uh, an ITSM solution, but then they had to do a lot of you know, manual intervention, especially in, in their service fulfillment, right? A lot of uh, manual emails had to get triggered and everything. So they wanted a scalable and seamless, easy to implement and use uh, solution. So that's where Fresh Service helped them. So we, we implemented a full-fledged service catalog for them because their employees raise a ton of service requests every day. Now everything is automated using uh, uh, Fresh Service. Uh, and using our workflow automator, we also uh, you know, address certain authentication and access issues for them. And they're also able to you know, seamlessly integrate with their in-house systems. Now, as a result, their productivity has gone up. The service disk efficiency has you know, gone up to 100%, and they're able to manage three times more tickets uh, with the same team. And ultimately, I mean, we're talking about employee delight over here, so the employee satisfaction also uh, increased significantly. Right? And I think that's, that brings me to the end of uh, my keynote. I hope that was uh, you know, really helpful.
Uh, if you have any questions, we are available uh, at our booth outside. We, we are happy to have a chat with you later, and or we can connect on LinkedIn and have a chat anytime. Once again, uh, my name is Divakar. Thanks for your time and patience. Enjoy the rest of your day.